Hey guys, so today I kind of wanted to film, I don't know, I don't know if it's a weird video, but something different. I've been looking to film video, I've been trying to think of a video to film that's different than what everyone else thinks, and I think one of the biggest things about makeup that people don't really talk about is the money. Obviously lots of people on YouTube get requested videos to do drugstore foundation routines and drugstore uh, tutorials and stuff because makeup is expensive as hell. Like you all know it, I know it, we all know it. Makeup is expensive. It can cost like I went to last for my last Mac haul, I went to Mac, I bought three things that cost me eighty dollars. What? But I think one of the problems is that people like to go all out when they go. Like if you go to Mac, you like I want everything and you get a wish list and stuff. But I think what's important is to kind of budget for makeup. I'm in university as I you guys as I've told you guys before, and I know that a lot of students get their parents to pay for their tuition and their living expenses and stuff and then they get a part-time job and they just use it to pay for you know going out for dinner drinking and makeup or whatever their hobbies happen to be but for me like i'm paying for my tuition i have a student loan and so but i'm still a makeup addict and i need i need makeup like my husband collects movies and video games i collect makeup it's kind of our thing although i don't really think i would call mine so much a collection but that's what i tell him to make it sound comparable <laughs> so i think one of the easiest ways is to get a savings account and put aside money that you're not gonna notice every week like i get paid weekly every thursday me and my husband both get paid so every week i have a savings account and i put twenty dollars in the savings account every week four weeks in a month that's 80 bucks a month you have to spend on makeup and you can buy a pretty decent amount for 80 bucks and then if you don't go every month you have still have the money accumulating weekly for like months so you could have at christmas time like 150 bucks to spend on makeup which is awesome I also, I don't say necessarily put 20 bucks in, put whatever you can afford, and you know what, some weeks you can't afford to put it in, like if you have a really big bill coming up that week, maybe the maybe the first of the month all of your bills come out and you can't afford to put money in that week, but you put money in every few weeks, every few weeks a month or twice a month or something, and you're going to have enough, you're going to have at least some money to put on makeup. I know it sounds really weird to say that you have to budget for makeup, but I mean it's true. Most people who watch YouTube videos and who are in the beauty community are obsessed with makeup. This is like an addiction to me. And I think that it's really important to like talk about how to budget for it because you don't want to spend all your money on makeup. I mean, my husband thinks I'm insane for spending money on as much money as I do on makeup, but there's just stuff that you want and you, if you want quality for a lot of things, you do have to go drug you do have to go above the drugstore and go to department stores like Mac and Sephora and buy expensive makeup. It's just kind of what has to happen and I think this is a really great way to do it what I also have is uh on my debit card I have this thing at Scotiabank if you're not Canadian we don't you might not have this in the states but they might have a comparable one wherever your banks are um every time I debit anything on my debit card I don't get paid in any service charges because I'm a student so that doesn't matter but every time I debit anything on my card say it banks it has like a bank of the rest thing which also goes into my savings account with the money that I've put aside weekly so if I spend a dollar ninety eight on something and I debit it the two cents will go into the savings account so it rounds up to the next dollar so if I spend five fifty fifty cents are gonna go into my savings account and I mean it doesn't seem like a lot and it, but it's you get like five ten bucks a month it's better than nothing right and you don't really notice it because it's just a couple cents most of the time you know it's 98 cents it's always less than a dollar it's something that you're not really gonna miss and you can always dip into this money when you feel the need I just think that not enough people talk about this and I think that it's really important to talk about it because makeup is expensive and I think that it's not an it's not a, it's not a necessity at all and it should be spoken about so yeah that's just kind of my makeup budgeting tips 101 I don't really know what to call it but I feel like it's a tip that I'd like to share with you guys because it's something that's working for me right now because I really am paying my student loan off I'm paying my bills etc etc my mom's not covering anything except for my rent because I'm living at her house but other than that I'm paying for everything and I have a lot I can't just throw out hundreds of dollars a month on makeup at once because I don't get paid that much I get I'm getting paid minimum wage here so yeah, I think this is a really great tip and I really hope that it helps you guys out and helps you maybe save up for some drugstore makeup because I know some people just don't want to spend the money on it and that's totally fine. I'm not saying you have to do this, but I'm saying that if you are struggling to pay for, if you're like spending a lot of money on uh, higher end makeup and you're struggling to pay for it, this is a good way to budget it so that 
you can get what you want without you know going broke for a week because you just dropped eighty dollars on makeup so thanks for watching and i hope you guys liked this or it was helpful or something thanks bye